The New Orleans Pelicans beat the Phoenix Suns 128 to 117 on Friday night to remain first place in the Western Conference. This was the Pelicans' sixth straight win, the longest current winning streak in the NBA. The Pelicans are now an impressive 17 and 8 in their first 25 games and are an incredible 11 and 3 at home this season. What's going on everyone? Luca Rosano here back with another video. If you can hit a like on this video it would help the algorithm a ton. Please subscribe to the channel if you are new. We're about 150 subs away from 28k on this channel. You guys said you want more Pelicans content and I'm here for it. This Pelican Pelicans team has become my favorite team to watch in the Western Conference and in this one we're going to be talking about their most recent win against the Suns and why this team is a team that you should be afraid of. Again hit that like button hit that sub button for more Pelicans content. So we're actually going to start by talking about the ending of this game. Zion Williamson threw down an incredible dunk that is going viral. The Pelicans were up by nine with less than seven seconds left and Larry Nance Jr. passed the ball to Williamson, who threw down a windmill dunk. Things got intense as the buzzer sounded, and several people had to be separated. The Phoenix Suns clearly did not like this. Now, there's been a lot of chatter about this being a lack of sportsmanship and Zion Williamson breaking the unwritten rule. Well, let me start by saying this. Zion Williamson doesn't give a damn about the unwritten rule. I absolutely loved what Zion Williamson did. The Suns, they talked their trash, and this was a big time game. Energy was high, tempers were flaring. This to me was a statement made against the team that knocked you out in the playoffs last season. And Zion Williamson, he didn't forget that. This is what he had to say after the dunk. That was a little out of character for me, but you got to understand. I mean, you can understand it or not. They sent my teammates home last year. I missed all last year. I got I got carried away a little bit. I admit that. But, you know, I was in that locker room. My brothers were down because, you know, the son sent us home last year. That, that's a tough moment to be a part of. So in that moment, I got carried away. I admit that. It's, that was out of character for me. <clears throat> so, you know, if they was to do the same thing, I wouldn't have no problem with it. I love how Zion Williamson took that Pelicans loss to the Suns personally, even though he didn't play in that series. To me, the NBA needs more of this, and if this is the NBA's newest rivalry, I'm here for it. These two teams will do battle again on Sunday, so expect fireworks. Now let's talk more about this game and Zion in particular. Zion Williamson continued the best stretch of his NBA career, dominating the second half with 22 points and powering his way to a season high 35. He was unstoppable at times, evidenced by his 13 of 17 shooting from the field and ability to get to the rim on demand. The 22-year-old has scored at least 23 points in six straight games, all victories for the Pelicans, who boast their longest winning streak since a 10-gamer in 2018. Here are Zion Williamson's last five games. 33 points, 10 rebounds, 5 assists on 80% shooting. 30 points, 15 rebounds, 8 assists on 64% shooting. 25, 6, and 4 on 53% shooting. 29, 10, and 5 on 68% shooting. 35, 7, and 4 on 76% shooting. Absurd numbers. The Pelicans earned another win at home. And don't look now, but the New Orleans Pelicans appear to be building a notable home court advantage in the NBA, having gone 9 and 1 over the last 10 dates. The only loss was to the NBA best Boston Celtics, with Friday's 11 point margin of victory over Phoenix being the seventh in that span by double digits. As I mentioned, the Pelicans are 11-3 overall at home this season. Only Boston, Cleveland, Golden State, and Memphis have fewer home defeats. Now, how about this team's bench? They are one of the best benches, if not the very best bench in all of the NBA. Jose Alvarado had another great game. He had 20 points, 3 of 5 on threes. Larry Nance Jr. had 17 points and 9 rebounds. And Najee Marshall had 14 points. These are players who are providing New Orleans with some of the NBA's best second unit production, also delivering a lot of energy and toughness. That helps immensely when a team is competing 
without two starters due to injury. Remember, the Pelicans are still without Brandon Ingram and Herb Jones. Now, what about the Pelicans' young core? You got a 19-year-old rookie who started at guard in Dyson Daniels and spent part of Friday night assigned to Phoenix's elite guard, Devin Booker, who turned in an ultra-rare, poor shooting night of 5 of 17 from the field. And the other New Orleans starting wing, Trey Murphy. He's only 22. These have been some excellent young pieces for the Pelicans that you simply cannot dismiss. New Orleans bench, again, was a significant factor in this win, and they are carrying the load when needed to. The New Orleans Pelicans not only sit atop of the Western Conference right now, but the Pelicans also possess the NBA's third best record among all NBA teams, trailing only Boston and Milwaukee's records. This Pelicans team has officially arrived. They are playing incredible right now, and this team is here to stay. This team, to me, is a bona fide contender in the Eastern Conference, and because they're so deep and have the star power as well, this is a team everyone needs to be afraid of. It starts with the freak of nature, Zion Williamson, and ends with the last man who comes off the bench. The Pelicans right now are playing beautiful basketball, and right now, I can't find a flaw on this team. Zion Williamson has been playing like an MVP. And I just want to end by saying this. I love what I've been seeing from him. You got to remember too, guys. Zion Williamson has been battling a lot of emotions this season. This is a man who's heard all of the chatter from the skeptics and the critics saying, Oh, Zion, he's out of shape. He's never going to be able to get back on the court. He's not going to be that dominant player that everybody thought he was going to be. He's going to be a bust. This guy heard all of the slander. He's not living under a rock. He knew what was going on. And this was a man who was ridiculed and downright ridden off. So I love that we are seeing Zion Williamson in his purest form being the dominant phenom that he was touted to be before he entered the NBA. And the scariest part about it, Zion Williamson can get better than this. I truly feel like we haven't even seen Zion at his peak this dude is only going to get better, and he is the engine that drives this Pelicans team. This Pelicans team, they're complete, they're deep, and they got the perfect complementary of players around Zion. And before the start of the season, I said that this Pelicans team was going to make the biggest leap out of any other team, and right now, they are proving me right. They're in first place, they're playing great basketball, they're beating good teams, and this Pelicans team looks like they belong at the top. And on Sunday, the Pelicans are going to have another test because you better believe the Suns are going to come out in that game fiery. The Suns, they have a chip on their shoulders for revenge after what happened in Friday night's loss. And there's definitely going to be more fireworks on the floor between these Western Conference foes. So part two of this battle will be in Smoothie King Center Sunday afternoon. You definitely don't want to miss it. I will definitely be watching. But the Pelicans, they made... A statement on Friday night led by Zion Williamson and they're looking to make another statement on Sunday against the Suns. This Pelicans team is striking fear in their opponents and my goodness it has been a thing of beauty to watch. That is my reaction to what I have seen so far from this New Orleans Pelicans team. I know Pelicans fans are feeling really good right now. This team looks legitimate. What's your reaction been to this Pelicans team? And let me know what your thoughts are on the whole Zion Williamson end of game dunk and that latest win against the Suns. I would love to hear what you have to say. Hit me up in the comment section down below. I read everybody's comments. Again, please drop a like on the video. It does help it a ton. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more Pelicans content, let me know as well. This is Luca Rosano signing off. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you all again in the next video.